Monday morning to you too. Ah, right guys, so I'm heading off to the studio this morning. Anna's upstairs in bed, the lazy poop poops. Oh yeah, just a note, right? <laughs> this is really funny. I wasn't, I actually wasn't going to say anything because I thought it was kind of amusing, but too many people have written too many long comments in relation to this fact about where we sleep. When Anna says in the shop, like, oh, I want that for my room, it's because she does have her own room, and I have my own room, but we combined have our own room. You understand? We sleep in the main master bedroom with the ensuite suite in the big room, and then I have my, I took the little room, which is like it's a tree bed and housewife room, which is like, I've got all my computers and playstations and all that kind of boy stuff. And then she has her room, which is like all her clothes and the wardrobes and her makeup and all that stuff. So we have our own room for our own likes and dislikes, and then we have a bedroom which we sleep together. So I just thought I'd clarify that because it was kind of funny that people were thinking that we don't have the same bedrooms together because our last house was a one bed apartment, it was a duplex, but a one bed apartment because my office was upstairs. So, and then in London, that was a two bed apartment, but my office room was always the other room and then we'd say to get another one so you know but you know it's cool it's cool i don't mind just thought i'd clarify that just to clear up the air okay now tell me can you be missing me today while i'm gone hmm i guess not i guess not indeed it is so sunny today. August gets so sunny and September. Oh. Hi, hi, hi. I think it's because all the kids and stuff go back to school and that's why they make it extra sunny. Okay, in your pop. In, 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 in. In, in. It's not listening to me. LB. Come on. In, in. What radio station do you guys listen to in the morning? It really depends on where you are, I suppose. But since we moved to Cork, um, I tend to listen to Red FM, Red FM all the time. Um, I like the morning guy. <laughs> what do you guys do? I think in Dublin I used to used to be always like um, oh, when I was in Dublin we used to always listen to Spin. Spin FM 103.8 and it was like FM 104 and FM what else there? There's light, isn't it? 102.2 light FM. I suppose Phantom, which is all the the underground peeps. But I think it, I think there is another one, isn't it? There's 96 something like that. On oh, today FM and 2FM. I like 2FM for when you're driving around this country because it never goes out of coverage. And I like totally fit in the afternoon. It's kind of cool, but in Cork, since we've been here, it's been Red FM. You guys in Cork, what's your what's your radio station of choice? Do you guys listen to Red or 96? Or if there's another one, let me know so I can like dial it into the thing and we can be rocking together. Yeah! I'm homey yo! Home dog! Look at this on the go! Look at this on the go! Thanks a lot! Did you miss me, Alby? Did you miss me? Hot cheapers! Hot cheapers! Hot cheapers, Dad! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know it's in the morning time? You're all like, I'm off to work! Woo! And then when I'm at home, you're all like, I, uh, I see a feel after a day of like rendering and blah, blah, blah. My brain? Kaput! But, you know, it's fulfilling when I come home to my lovely lady friend, lady friend, and my doggy friend, doggy friend, and my foodie friend, foodie friend, and my phony friend, and coffee friend, and blanket friend. Okay, so, do I just sit? Yeah. Does it get served to me? Yeah. So it should be. Who's up here munching? What's this rustling sound I hear? What are you doing? <laughs> You're such a juggler bean. I was gonna murder someone. I love you. You're so cute. Why do you give your chocolates to Nathan? <laughs>
Right, but it's bad. So, it's night time. <laughs> in an emergency situation, <laughs> with your eyes closed. You can just like grab your chocolate after. Albie, get up your steps. Don't up. be so lazy. Come on. Up. 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 Hey. I'm pretty sure he's scared of those since Emma broke that step. Emma. Aww. It's like a show or a, 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 t a, a shop. Hmm. See? That's what you learned in Munich and Ralph Lauren. <laughs> I didn't really do anything in here because I had to get hangers. I didn't want to leave out after the, he, the way he reacted. I didn't want to leave him on his own. Mm. This is where Anna sleeps. And do you want to see my room? Because we don't sleep <laughs> together, folks. This is my room. This is where I sleep. I basically sit in this rocking chair and go, I wish I could sleep with my girlfriend. I wish I could sleep with my girlfriend. I wish I could sleep with my girlfriend. <laughs> Oh. You, I said both, that's all I get. That's all my clothes, all my worldly belongings. Well, at least you get some space in the master bedroom. I got some space by myself. I sort of dance around. I dance in the morning and I dance. Yeah, so I was thinking you could put all your cables and stuff in there. Mm. Did you really think that you couldn't have that chest of drawers in our bedroom? Yeah, I thought that was few as well. That's kind of mean. This is all I know. Whoever's in the breed test. Whoever's in Mommy LaFloop test. <laughs> Mommy LaFloop. Hello. Mm. And look, this is probably the first time in the whole of history of this house that this is ever going to look like this. But, see our laundry basket? It's empty. Well done, Nina. That never, ever, ever happens. Well done for cleaning up. Oh, you changed this bowl? Yeah, it's you a real... You princess one. It's a real dog bowl. Are we going for walkies? 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 Well, I don't know about you, but I'm going for I'm walkies. I'm going for walkies, too. I don't know. I'm going for walkies. I'm so thinking I'm just going for walkies. <laughs> okay, I'm just going for walkies. <laughs> walkies! Having a walkie time. Time. The daily walk. What? Do you want to walk around the long way? That way. Come on, Hobbs. Somebody's playing football and Hobbs pretty upset about it. Because how dare somebody just go ahead and play football? How dare they, Hobbs? Hey, right. Yeah, he's like, hey, you! What are you doing? What are you doing in my park? Okay, Abby, what what's the plan here? You're on the lead. Yeah. In the grass. What's the plan here, Abby? What's the plan of action? Guys, we finally found, we decided to go with Aircom for our broadband because the lovely Sarah, I was talking to this girl, Sarah, on the phone from Aircom. You know, I actually called Aircom earlier on today and they were total idiots, right? So I was like, I'm not going with them. Then I rang Vodafone, then I rang UTV, then I rang NTA or UPC. And I rang everyone and, you know, either we're not in the coverage area or blah, 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 blah. So I decided to ring back Aircom anyway and I get a line installed because I was like, fine. I'll get a line installed, but that's it. That's it. I'm going to go to someone else because the guy earlier on was terrible. So this girl, Sarah, answers the phone and she was full of fun and full of love. And I've decided purely because she, her awesomeness that I'm going to decide I'm going to go with my Aircom broadband. So guys, if you're talking, if you want, if you want to talk to someone in Aircom, just ask for Sarah because she's awesome and she was fun. I just thought I'd share the love. <laughs>